what if I am injured by a product, a defective product, and I don't own it, somebody else owns it. It's not even my product. I was in a car and I was injured and I came to find out that the product was defective or that a product, let's just say, I was in an above ground swimming pool and a ladder broke in half and fractured and the product was defective. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen, this is a common misconception of the rule of law and who it is and is not applied to. My name is David Salazar and I am a products liability attorney. I practice in Houston, Texas and all over the country. So I try to help people out with these questions and try to answer some stuff so that you guys have a more clear idea of what to expect. The answer to that question is you do not have to own the actual product to find, an, to find a company accountable. So let me give you an example of what I mean. I recently had a case in South Texas where I had a little girl She'd never been to this home before, and there was a birthday party. The birthday party was going on. No one had ever been in this pool before. They had, they had a, a brand new, brand spanking uh, new pool, above ground pool that they had purchased from a store, a very big store in South Texas. They put up the pool per the regulations, per the instructions. Everything was very professionally done. It had a, almost a zero grade as far as how level it was, meaning it was almost completely level. The little girl gets onto the ladder and for the first time ever, she, as she's getting up to the very top of the ladder, the ladder fractures in half. She falls backward, hits the back of her head and becomes a quadriplegic. Ladies and gentlemen, she is not responsible for that, okay? I wanna make sure you understand that. She did not own the pool, but she is definitely gonna be able to have some kind of accountability towards the manufacturer of the pool, whoever that may be. So I wanna make sure you understand that, ladies and gentlemen. You do not have to own something to find a manufacturer accountable for their defective product. So this goes time and time again. I have another client of ours who was burned severely in an automobile accident. Come to find out that particular automobile that was made in 2016 actually had a burn recall on it because it, there was a propensity for that vehicle to actually catch fire whenever there was a minor accident. So heads up, ladies and gentlemen, vehicles should not catch fire in minor accidents. It should not happen. The only reason it would happen is if there is a defect in the actual vehicle. And if you sustain burn injuries from that, you can, you can definitely hold the manufacturer accountable for that. He didn't own the car. He didn't, he didn't own it, he didn't insure it, nothing. He was literally a passenger in it. And guess what? We are actually going after that car manufacturer for this de defect. And it was a known defect that they had actually issued. They just failed to actually notify their clients of it. So please keep this in, in mind, ladies and gentlemen, you do not have to own something to actually hold a company accountable if you have been severely injured by it. So my name is David Salazar. This is the Safety Guardians. We have a YouTube channel and a Facebook page. I love talking to you guys about this stuff. Please hit me up if you have any questions or concerns, and we will talk soon. Thank you.